Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Topic will be code template. Let's first discuss few of the theoretical knowledge about the code template and then we will talk about when then we will see in the demo. So basically, code template is nothing but having an information of the customer, code information, the line item which we have selected, and the product pricing or if any kind of a discounting you are giving. So consolidating all these information, the customer information, the quote information, the product which you selected, if you give it any kind of a markup, any kind of a discount, any kind of a subscription term. So these many details which you selected over the quote line, all those details are going to capture in the Salesforce CPQ document engine, which will actually populate the oh, which will actually come in the format of the code template okay so it's again you can do a customization based on your uh, need but there is some kind of a standard document which is provided by salesforce so you can refer those documents and see all those information related to the customer related to the you know the product which you have selected if you have given any kind of a discount or if you have given any kind of a markup all those details you will be seeing in the quote and template with some details about the terms and conditions the policy of your company or some disclaimer, some inclusions, whatever it is, that will be displayed on your code template. So that whenever the user or whenever the customer is purchasing your product, he or she should be aware about the norms of your company and you know the purchasing time, the return time, if any, what's a renewal time, what's a MN time. So all the terms and conditions they should be aware of when they are having a code template in their hand. So let's go to the org and see how actually we can have a code template. So there is no major steps required. So if you remember, this is a code which we created just now, 209, with these line items, iPhone, 4K monitor, and percentage of total product, and few of the options related to the iPhone product, that's a cellular service and AirPods. So these are the uh, five line items created uh -huh. on my quote, which total amount of my quote is 1,140 rupees, uh -huh. sorry, dollar. Okay, so 1,140 net amount, which we are charging against the quote 209 for Asia Pacific region, opportunity to the account called Asia Pacific region. Okay. Now how to generate a quote template? If you go to the right hand side, you will see a button called generate document. If you don't see that button, just go to the system, uh, go to the setup. I'll quickly show you, go to the object manager. You might not able to see these object here, this button here, generate document. So you just need to go to the object manager, go to the code object. SBQQ underscore underscore quote underscore underscore C. Go to the page layouts. Go to the quote layout. As soon as you land up on the quote layout, there will be a related list. Not related list, sorry, the buttons basically. Okay, so there will be a, all the buttons. Maybe you not have a drag and drop. You need to do a drag and drop of the button which is not visible. So let's say submit for approval is not there in my system right now. So you just need to drag and drop. Just make sure the buttons are available on the top. So unless and until it is not green, so you won't be able to drag and drop it here. Okay. So if you drag and try to drag and drop below, you won't be able to, you know, you won't be able to drag and drop it. So it should be drop at the right place only. So it should be at the top. So let's say I am not having a submit for approval. So I'll just drop this one and click on save. This will again ask you whether you want to save it or not. Okay, it's in SARS, it's fine. So it's saved here. Now when you refresh your uh, page, you will be seeing the buttons uh, which you actually 
make it display on your code. So I have now submit for approval button here, submit for approval. So we are going to talk about the generate documents and the preview document. So there are the two buttons which is available. One is a generate document and other one is a preview document. Preview is to see the documents basically and generate when you want to generate the document. So let's click on the preview document. We just want to preview it first. As soon as you click on the preview document button, you will have this, uh, you know, th this file get uh, downloaded on your system. So either you can preview it from here or if you want to download it, you can download it also. Just click on this download link and save it somewhere in your system and close this. Now let's let me open this in my next tab. So you can see here, this is the uh, custom template which I created for the demo purpose. You can see in the right hand side, I have put in the details about the code, like the port number 209, the date, today's date, expire on, it's also the same one. Now I have given uh, uh, you know the shipping address, if you have any kind of a billing address or the shipping address of the uh, account which you are dealing with, you can just give an address that address field it will populate whatever the address is there on that particular field then i just mentioned shift to asia pacific region build to asia pacific region i just uh, take the api name of those fields and paste it on my word document then i have given a uh, you know the column which describes a uh, you know detail about the salesperson so here i am creating a code so i am the owner of the code so the information related to my user is coming so nikita kumari is a salesperson and this is a mail id this is external extension number or uh, what are the payment terms you can discuss it so it's compulsory to give a salesperson information so that if the user is any is having any kind of uh, issues related to the product or you know the pricing discounting whatever it is they can directly reach out to that salesperson who is reported in your document so always make sure you give the detail about the salesperson either at the top or at the bottom it depends on the format in which format you want to display but yeah this information should be available then you can see i display a section called quantity product description unit price discount and the extended so these are the few columns which i showed you can display as many as you want but you need to make sure that it should come in a one page it should not be that it's overflowing or it is coming in different different uh, you know uh, two tables were there it will it should look simpler so that the person should understand in a one go okay there should be no demo session for the customer so you need to make it as simple as you can so I have put in a quantity here, the product name here, the description I have put in, but I didn't give an ideally description to my product. It should be there. So that's why I put in a field called description, which describes my product in a more efficient or in a more prominent way. Then I take in a unit price of these products. If any kind of a discount will come in the discounted field. Extended price, if any kind of a after discount, if there is any kind of a change in the prices, then it will show here. And the total price is there, $1,140. Okay. So this actually uh, makes you understand and the customer can understand, okay, they need to pay this amount, these many products they are purchasing in with these quantities, these many discount has been applied. If there is any kind of a markup, you can put the markup column as well. So this actually helps them to understand what actually they are purchasing on. Yeah. Then you can put a terms and condition as per your company uh, conditions, so you can put it here. You can pick it up, put a field called signature, effective date, name, and the title. So again, the signature, you can put a electronic signature here, like you can use a third party DocuSign or Adobe sign or a Conga sign. So the company, uh, you should integrate with third party, that's a DocuSign. And once you integrate it, it will, uh, you need to automate it, then once, that uh, once it is a uh, generated document, it should go for the electronic signature to the customer and it will automatically get pop up in their mail ID and they just need to do a signature here. If they are approving all the things which you are purchasing here, 
If they approve, they can sign it here, else they can reject it also. Okay, so this is how the actual uh, the code template looks like when you generate a code on your code. You can see this uh, particular template with the help of a preview document button. Now at the same time, we have a generate documents also. So I, if you want to generate it or save and mail it, save it, cancel it, you can do that. So let's say I just want to generate it. I'll just hit on save. taking time yeah it's here now okay so my document is generated now so as soon as you go to the uh, you know uh, you go to the related list and if you scroll down you will see the section called quote documents and inside that you will see that its document is generated in the form of a pdf once you hit on the generate document. If you are not hitting on the generate document, if you are only previewing it, it will not show inside the code documents. You need to generate a document to show this particular document generated in your code related list. Now the same documents you can refer from the opportunity as well. That's a different thing, we'll discuss it later. But yeah, this is how you can have a code template uh, functionality. Uh, you know, you can use it when you are having such type of a system in your real time scenario. Now, considering the same, what we have discussed, uh, as I already showed you the one preview document. So the term template content is going to have a code template, which is going to have a customer information and the line item information. Now the template contents going to have a cover page, the customer information, the line item, the discount detail, and the signature block. Then the code template again, uh, which is going to cover the cover page, line item, and the signature block. So like this way, you will be able to create a template content uh, in your Salesforce if you want to do a customization. Else, the standard one you can do, you just need to do a changes in the terms and condition. Like the terms and condition right now is a standard one. You just need to do a change in the terms and condition. Rest all the things looks okay. And you can just go ahead and generate a document in your real time scenario. Okay. There is one more functionality which you can put in here, like the approval one, which I showed you yesterday. So either you can, you know, do some kind of a blocker that unless and until uh, if there is any kind of a discount, let's take a scenario that there is a discount of 10% and then uh, if the price is greater than 1000, then this quote needs a approval. So once this quote is approved, then only the person or the salesperson can generate or preview the document. So this is the blocker major company used to set in that un this unless and until this quote is not approved, they won't be able to preview the document or generate the content uh, document. So approval is a first step to make the, if it is triggering an approval condition, if the approval condition met like the 10% of approval, 20% of approval, and all the approval steps should be follows like the VP, CEO, senior manager, whosoever is involved, all of them should approve it. Then only it will proceed towards the generate the document. Otherwise, we are not going to allow a salesperson to generate the document. Okay. First, it should get approved internally that, okay, we can uh, ask our customer to pay a 1140, uh, you know, price. If they're okay, then only, uh, sorry, if they're okay, then only we can, uh, you know, go ahead and generate a document. If the person is not okay, then we should be cancel the quote at the time of our approval itself. Okay. So this is about the quote template and how you can use a quote template in your real time scenario. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.